Hi people, what I'm making for you today is one of my favorite holiday recipes. I'm doing a miso braised brisket. What I'm doing is taking a two pound slab of brisket. I'm gonna create a marinade made out of some low sodium beef stock. Make sure you get low sodium because what we're adding to it is some white miso, which is already really salty, and that's what gives this whole dish its sort of umami wonderfulness. We have some brown sugar to balance out the salt of the miso, and we're using a little bit of cola. This is sort of my secret ingredient. That caramelization of, of the flavor in the cola really adds so much to your brisket. So we're gonna make our marinade by starting with the miso paste. We're gonna take a bowl, dump about a half a cup of miso paste into the bowl. I like the subtleness of the white miso, that if you happen to have other miso laying around, feel free to use that. I'm using the brown sugar and I'm gonna whisk that all together. To that, I'm gonna add my cola. And this is gonna be our braising liquid for the brisket. I'm gonna pour that beef stock in. You need enough moisture, enough liquid to cover the brisket while it's cooking, because we're gonna cook it for about three hours in the oven. Now that that's all incorporated, we're gonna go over to the stove sear off this brisket so it's nice golden brown. I'm just gonna really lightly season my brisket with salt. We don't need a lot of salt here because the miso itself is really salty. We're gonna head over to the stove and brown this brisket. We have our pan preheating here. And I have some canola oil. You can use pretty much any vegetable oil, but you don't wanna use olive oil because you need to get this pan really hot and olive oil tends to burn at really high temperatures. So we're gonna add that oil into the pan. Make sure that the entire base of the pan is covered in oil because we don't want any hot spots that are going to make that meat grab to the bottom of the pan and stick. And lay it straight in there. You want to hear that really loud sizzling noise because that means you're getting some color on the meat. Because we're cooking this meat for so long, if we don't get a good sear or caramelization on the outside, it won't hold together. And then we're just going to flip this guy over. One side should be brown. We'll do another two, three minutes on the other side before we add any more ingredients. So now that we're nice and golden brown on both sides, I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna let it sit for a second because I'm gonna add some liquid to the pan. And if the pan is super scorching hot with a bunch of oil in there and you add a liquid in there, it's gonna blow up in your face. What this is doing, when the liquid hits the pan, it's picking up all of those beautiful caramelized proteins that that brisket has left behind underneath on the pan. You wanna make sure to get all of those off because those have tons of flavor. And I'm just gonna pop a lid on here, throw it into a preheated 300 degree oven for about three hours. I've just pulled our brisket out of the oven. Let's see what it looks like. So all those juices and the beautiful marinade has reduced around it. A Couple of fresh thyme sprigs in there and you're good to go. You can serve it right on a trivet in the pan. I'm just gonna show you how beautiful and tender this brisket is. You can literally pull it apart with just a fork or a fork and a butter knife. And you can go ahead and shred this, put it on top of mashed potatoes, endless possibilities.